Hello everyone, my name is Jay Something and this is What's For Dinner, a show where we get to share some creativity and a little bit of inspiration with some of the super moms that our country has. Let's take a look at who our super mom is for today. My name is Natasha Summers. I'm a 34 year old wife and a mom of two. I have a very busy hair salon and I don't have a lot of time in the kitchen, although I would love to spend more time creating new and different flavours and dishes with Knorr and I would love Jay something to come and help me with what's for dinner. That right there is exactly what What's For Dinner is all about. Natasha, you are a busy mom indeed. Myself and the What's For Dinner team are on our way. Are you ready for some instant inspiration? Uh, all for the love of flavor. Get ready now, get ready now, get ready now. Cause no longer shall you ask it. No, no longer shall you wonder. Guys, are you ready? Yes. Okay, so this is what happens in the mornings in my household. I wake up first before everyone, and then I get myself sorted. Then the kids, waking them up, getting them dressed and breakfast, and then my hubby, sorting him out, getting his lunch ready. Then off to school we go, dropping them off. Okay, let's go, come. Come, Eli. And then I make my way to work and I have my first client arriving at about 8 o'clock in the morning. I don't take much time in thinking about food. I'm a very in the moment kind of person so when I am at work, I'm doing work. When I get home into the kitchen is when I actually think of what's in the cupboard and what's going to be on the plate for tonight. My biggest challenge um, with regards to cooking is that I've got very little time to prepare and my family has got high expectations. <laughs> Just the last couple of things that I need before I head out to Natasha's house. I'm really hoping that we can help Natasha out a little bit today through the What's For Dinner platform. Uh, you know, she's a busy mom, so I'm really hoping that through the platform we can give her the creativity and inspiration that she needs. I'm also hoping that we can have a lot of fun in the kitchen. This right here, the Knorr Chicken Stock Pot, I cannot leave without it. So I've just arrived at Natasha's house. I'm really excited to meet her and her family. She sent me a video asking me what's for dinner and hopefully I can answer that. Let's see if she's just as excited as I am. Hello. How are you doing? Are you well? How's it going? Oh my gosh. I'm Jay. Yeah. I'm here. Are you well? Are you for real? Natasha, yes. Good, man. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, I'm so excited. To my nest. Yeah. It's a beautiful home. Thank you. This is for you, for us, oh. later. Okay. Yeah. Is so this a challenge? No, no challenge. Okay. This is easy. It's all about ease. There's no Great. challenge. Great. Great. Answer this here question. For me. I'm here for you. <laughs> yeah. Such a beautiful home. Is that your family? This is my family. Wow. Yeah, my hubby, I've got two kids. Eli is five and Eden is four. Man, that's a dream, huh? Yeah, Pigeon Pear, have them close together. So I'm fetching the kids with you. We're fetching I've the kids. I've never done that before, it's ever in my life. Wow. I've only been picked up. Wow, long you time need ago. briefing. Yeah, yeah. You need hectic briefing, so, child proofing. Child proofing. <laughs> <laughs> we need to go and get the kids so that I can start cooking in the kitchen so we can start getting dinner done. You know, my mother, she was like a single mother and she also had like uh, two jobs but she had to look after me. And she was hardly ever home, and it hurts her so much. That's the challenge. It must be hard, eh? Oh, that's the challenge. Awesome. I'm still like 
in shock. It was so much fun. Yeah. Could do this every day. Drop offs. Yeah, <laughs> can get hectic. Yeah, thanks, man. That was such a privilege. Yeah, very nice. Thank yeah. you so much. Cool. So the kids have gone to go have a bath. Yes. And we need to get dinner, as yes. you would normally do. As I would. So I do. saw your video that you sent in. And I heard about your family and your situation and what you guys like and what you don't like. Mm -hmm. And I went onto the What's For Dinner platform mm -hmm. and I thought about what could be cool for us to make together. Uh, well, for you to make and for me to watch and to see how, how your vibe is in the kitchen. Okay. And I thought of making this, a chicken and mushroom enchilada. Have Ooh, you ever made enchiladas before? I have before? not. So much fun, they nice taste so challenge. good. Nice yeah. challenge. I'm so overwhelmed right now. I actually cannot believe it. It's so exciting. It's amazing having the What's For Dinner team and Jay something actually in my kitchen. This is what's coming up after the break. That sounds good. The stock pot product was absolutely stunning. Jay something was just amazing in the kitchen. He just he just puts it all together. And we're gonna place that in the oven. Welcome back to What's For Dinner. If you've just joined us, myself and Natasha, our super mom, are about to make some dinner. Yay! We are making an unbelievable chicken and mushroom enchilada, and it is one of my personal favorites from the What's For Dinner platform. It's packed with flavor. I can't wait. I know. And it's a great dish to make for the family. So, are you ready to get cooking? Absolutely. All right, let me show you what I brought. Hopefully you've got some of the stuff that I didn't bring. I've got some mushrooms. And mushrooms, always good. Chicken. Mm -hmm. Easy yeah. to do. Yeah. And then I've got two different types of cheeses. Okay. It's gonna look great. I'm gonna add a nice flavor. I've got some oregano. Perfect. I have my my second favorite. I know. Knoll product. Stunning. Chicken <laughs> stock pot. And then I've got a good tomato sauce, okay. which we're gonna add. And then I've got some spring onion for some garnish. I've got some sour cream for garnish. I've got a red onion. Mm -hmm which we're gonna be using. And then the last thing, which is probably the most obvious thing, is the tortillas. Yeah, the star of the show. The star of the show, all right? The star standing next to the other star of the show. <laughs> all right, super mom, we need to get cooking, i.e. you need to get cooking, because I'm okay. not gonna cook. All right, so we need some things that I didn't bring. I need a little bit of oil, a little bit of coriander. Coriander, perfect. And then a green pepper. Green pepper. All right. Sure. I'm on it. Great. So, I'm gonna just run you through what I want you to do or what the recipe says you should do. Right. And a cool idea for you as well, and I think for everyone at home, is if you guys use the What's For Dinner platform, it's nice to kind of put it there, print the recipe at work. All right, Natasha, we've got everything we need. Okay. Step one, and I think this is important for you and other moms and other busy people, is that we need to get the things that take time out of the way. So I would recommend that you preheat the oven to 180. Okay. And then I'm gonna get us, I'm gonna get you a knife and a wooden spoon for you to stir with later. Okay, and then so this you, is where we start. I'm gonna need to get cooking. I would say the first thing first is let's chop up the chicken. Yeah. So we're gonna cook the chicken and then we're gonna kind of reverse the normal way I think that most yeah. of us would do it because I think we'd normally do the onion first. Mm -hmm. So what, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the chicken to nice pieces. This is according to however you like it and then we're gonna use the flavor that we've used to, to brown the chicken to then saute the onions and the green pepper. Amazing. So when you get home, I mean, this is what you have to kind of do after your crazy day. Yes, this is what I have to do. This is what, you know, I don't think about during the day because yes. the day is so busy on its own. So when I get home, you know, it's sort of um, what's in the fridge. Exactly. Yeah, let's make it happen. And you know what's cool on the What's For Dinner website? is that they actually send you, like per day, if, you, if you're at work and you're just kind of jumping through mails, they send you weekly plan. So you can actually go and download not only this. I would love exactly. that. And. Just like a drizzle. The wild that heats up. heats up. I would recommend getting everything else ready. Chopped up. So I would chop that up. And you, do you, do you get help sometimes? In, in the, the kitchen? kitchen? I would love that. I would actually appreciate a little bit more interaction. Yeah. Oh. You know what's the best ingredients that you guys have got? That no chef's got? You guys have got love, man. Oh. Love, love is the best okay. ingredient. Pouring lots of love. Yes. I smell the olive oil, I think it's ready. Go for it. I'm gonna put this here for you so that it's easy. That sounds good. Oh, the best, the best smell in the kitchen. We are cooking. 
seasoning. Are we not going to... You know what? I would... Because we're using the Knorr stock pot and it's so well seasoned, I would go easy on the salt. So I can get you... Yeah. Would you like me to put a crackle of salt and pepper in there? A little bit. I normally do, yeah. Yeah? All right. So in you go. I would go a little bit more on the pepper than on the salt because the stock pot is really well uh, seasoned. Got a lot of... Oh. That's also a fantastic time saving. I know, right? Yeah. And that's what they do, is they think a lot about your type of people, the busy moms, the moms that don't have time to necessarily think about seasoning. It's just one step that you can exclude. Mm. So, that's looking great. Tell me about the chicken. Do you want it to be all done? Or, because it goes into the oven afterwards. Yes, I, I want it to get done. Okay. So I want you to brown it really well. Really well. And then we're gonna use the flavor that you've just created in that pan and we're gonna add in the onions that we've chopped up, the mushrooms and the pepper. And then we're gonna let that saute a little bit for about five minutes. All right, you're good there. This is a good, yeah, I know. I okay, think they're cool. all good. Great. So what I'll do now is I would take it out and, and let it rest a little bit and then we're gonna add in our vegetables, our onion, our green pepper and our mushrooms over here. I'm looking forward to actually folding those enchiladas. I know, right? That, it's I fun. think that's the fun part. I know. All right, Tash, so you've got your chicken done. Got my chicken done. And I see you've got some nice saucy flavor in that pan already. Mm -hmm. So that's exactly the thinking now. You're gonna add in the onions and the peppers like a rock star. And we're gonna use all that flavor from the chicken to marry that to our onions and the peppers. And don't forget the mushrooms. Okay, they're all going together. Yep. Always a good combination. Eh? I know, right? It's so beautiful. Okay, so I think our onions are about there now. All right, so now what I would do is put the chicken back in there, let it all marry together, and then my favorite kind of part to this recipe is when we start to really Fill it with flavor. So I'm gonna leave the easier with you. We're gonna add one of those. Oh, yeah. yeah. Do you use it quite often? I do love stock pots. It oh. just makes my life so easier. convenient, right? Yeah, you don't need to think about marrying spices and yes. flavors. It's just yes. all in there. The Knorr stock pot for me is Knorr's greatest invention. You know, it's it's so packed with flavor and it really cuts a lot of time out of the cooking, of trying to balance flavors in terms of using different spices and, and different seasonings. Um, I think that this that's a stock pot really just gives you everything in one. Put it in there and then let it chill until it dissolves and let all that flavor get married together with the chicken and everything else. You can even put the close lid on top, up. yeah. yeah let's close it the stock pot, pot product was absolutely stunning. It had everything in there, everything we needed. I didn't have to add any other seasoning but that. That is what I loved about it. So I've got this tomato sauce, right? It's a, it's a garlic um, infused tomato sauce. You can like use. A base. Yeah. I would add a tablespoon right to the middle and then I'll just. And yeah, I mean, you can go to the edges. It's really up to you, eh, Tasha. I'm not gonna like. Yeah, depending on the yeah, flavor. Yeah. It's, it's really up to you. So, and then we're gonna add our fillings, and then we're gonna fold it up, and then we're gonna bake it. Hi. Hey, how are you, man? Hi. You well? Hi. Good. Yeah, good. What's for dinner's cooking dinner? <laughs> <laughs> so we're making enchiladas, okay. which is like a Mexican wrap, which we're then gonna bake in the oven. Watch me do this thing. And your wife has been at it the whole day, man. Hey, you think I've got enough filling over here? Yeah. Yeah, that's looking good. And then one of the things we must not forget is our cheese. So we've got some mozzarella, which you can add, sorry. We just so got you, sprinkled. You're not a cook. No, I'm not a cook at all. Yeah, but we were discussing, you know, it's so easy just to, these, these recipes are so simple, you know? Yeah, and everything comes in a little pot called stock pot. Yes. <laughs> okay, enjoy. Cool, thanks. Okay. Come on! Oh, so good. Next. Here we go. Jay something was just amazing in the kitchen. He just he just puts it all together. Woo! All right. Now the last thing that I would do is literally I'm literally just gonna pour this over. Oh, you just gonna? You are joking. Yeah. Just I... Over the top. Yeah. Check this. Oh yeah. 
and that sauce is just gonna... I love it. Beautiful, and then you can go out. And we're gonna place that in the oven and we're gonna bake that for 40 minutes. Great, let's do it. All right, so I've let the super mom go and relax a little bit and I'm about to make some holy guacamole for the family to enjoy with the enchiladas. It's so simple and you can by all means try this at home. All you need is a really ripe avo, you need a lemon and you need some salt and pepper. And then last but not least, one of my personal favorites to, to add to the guacamole is a onion, half an onion. I'm gonna start off with the main dude, which is the avo. Get a spoon and just scoop all of that out into your bowl. A fork to mush it all up, let it fly all over the place. Next step is the seasoning, salt and pepper. And then your red onion, we're gonna use half of it. And then the last thing to do is to use a lemon, just give it a squeeze or two, and then a good old stir to get it all together. And there you've got it, a simple guacamole to make at home. All right, super mom, let's see what you've made. Let's see, see what's what... for dinner. Exactly. Let's do this. Looking good. Oh, great. Smelling really good. Oh, yay. And then there's just one thing left. Uh, How's it gonna taste? Can't wait. It looks dun, 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 amazing. Dun, dun. <laughs> and then we've got some sour cream and we're gonna put some coriander. Oh. I'm gonna get a spoon. That's it. That's beautiful. On there. Yeah. Oh yay. Oh delish. So good. I'm ready to taste. This is what's coming up after the break. Here we go. Oh. You guys are gonna love this. The reason why I chose enchiladas is because it's a fun dish. I would definitely do that dish. I would do it over and over again. It was absolutely amazing. Happy birthday to you. So what's for dinner? So what's for dinner? Here we go. Oh, you guys are gonna love this. Yay! What is it? Yay, yes! Yay. Sour creams with guacamole. You need to get in here, Mom. Okay, let me just pop it. Cool. Looks good, right? Oh, I can't wait. Neither can I. Are you going to dish up for us? Yes. Okay, let's go. Are we praying first? Yes. I saw you going let's do grace. Are you Would praying? You like to do that? Yes. Okay, let's, let's hear Eden. God is great and God is good. Thank you, God, for all of it. Amen. Amen. Thank you, baby. Yay. Now the food's going to taste extra good oh, after that oh, prayer. Let's, let's have a dish up. Oh. Let's go. Here we go. A little, of course you do. <laughs> My shrimp's your favorite, hey? So how is your wife's cooking normally? <laughs> on, a on a scale of on one a scale. to ten. Yeah, yeah. Let's scale this. <laughs> now you're putting me in the <laughs> The reason why I chose enchiladas is because it's a fun dish. It's a dish that is hearty and warmy and it's, it's packed with flavor. And I think it's also built around a theme. And I think, you know, for families that are wanting to do things a little bit differently are, are, on kind of from an inspiration uh, side, it's nice to do things that have themes because, you know, you could always put a Mexican hat and have your enchiladas. It's a lot of fun. Okay, guys, enjoy. Well, I hope it'll meet expectations. I, I hope so too, huh? All the pressure's on you right now. <laughs> that looks really good. Okay, let's go for it. Okay. I would definitely do that dish. I would do it over and over again. It was absolutely amazing. I tried with new varieties. I'm very comfortable now doing the dish. And tell me, like, honestly, I mean, Honest? after today, what do you think? Like, the whole what's for dinner thing? Is it, is it actually worthwhile? You know what? 
in my life, it's definitely made a difference. Really? It's definitely made a difference. You do need an, like an outside influence in your kitchen to come and like give you some tips mm. and just get you more inspired. Yeah. I would recommend it, the drop of a hat to everybody. I'm so glad. Just before I leave, because some people might have thought that I was, they were going to get away without me <laughs> saying this. <laughs> Today is someone's birthday. Whose birthday is it? My mom's. Your mom's? Where's your mom? She's singing. So do you think we should sing for her? Yeah? Are you going to sing with me? We're all going to sing together. Yeah? One, two, <laughs> three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. To you. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Thank you. My highlights definitely in the show was, you know, cooking alongside Jay something. Thank you so much for having me on such a special day. And it's been such a privilege being with you guys and learning more about your family and learning about your life and learning about your family's life, getting to meet your beautiful kids. And I'm going to actually leave you guys now for you guys to enjoy Ma's birthday, oh. and um, I hope it's been worthwhile. Oh, it's been amazing. Yeah? It's really been amazing. Thanks, Tash. Thank you. Cool, man. Great. All right. Yes. It's so good to be home. I've had an amazing day, and the last thing for me to do before I call it a night is to check up on you guys on the What's For Dinner Facebook page. Let's check out some of the most frequently asked questions. How do I save burnt rice? Not all hope is lost, don't worry, it's amazing what a slice of white bread can do. That pot of rice that you've made that has unfortunately burnt, you just take that slice of white bread, place it on top of the rice for about five to 10 minutes and let it soak up all that burnt flavor. And then last thing is don't dish up the rice at the bottom because it is burnt. It's as simple as that, all right? I hope that helps. Now, let's check up one more before I check out. How to make the perfect green salad. I'm gonna show you how to do this. So let me put on my apron and get cooking. So step one is to rinse your salad greens loose. The next step is to tip all the leaves into a big salad bowl. Now we have to top our salad with some interesting ingredients that you've cut up into slices or cubes. I'm using sugar snap peas, broccolini, green beans, cherry tomatoes, some sweet corn, red onions, julienne carrots, and some feta cheese. We'll add beautiful flavor to your salad. Now remember, don't prepare your salad too far in advance. When you're ready to bring your salad to the table, drizzle it with a knorr salad dressing of your choice. It's as easy as that. Tonight was just unreal. Thank you once again to Natasha and her family for having myself and the What's For Dinner crew in their home. Here is what you can see next week from us. Good night. If you would like a chance to bag yourself a coupon, dial star 120 star knorr hash. There are a limited number of coupons available at your nearest pick and pay outlet. T's and C's apply. Cannot wait to see my good friend Leanne and also most of all make a delicious dinner and get to meet her beautiful kids. I do a dance rehearsal as well, we did that, um, my studio session. You know, we see Jay and he posts these fabulous dishes on Instagram so it better be good and he better bring it.